So if you're creating any kind of content online, it's essential that you try and create the content at the highest quality possible. So audio, video, in order to stand out from the crowd. And in today's video, I'm gonna be walking and talking you through how I use Riverside.fm to record the highest quality content I can in a interview style, in a podcast format for my YouTube channel. So in order for me to show you how I record and edit my content, I'm gonna jump straight on into my desktop. So here we are on riverside.fm. You can either Google Riverside or riverside.fm and then you actually navigate to their homepage. Now they pride themselves on studio quality recordings, lightning fast editing. So again, this is all for content creators, mainly the podcast editors, podcast producers, or any sort of interview or any live streaming. So it shows you um, what sort of functions are available down here. And you can have a read about it uh, and see some, um, some actual examples of what it looks like. Um, if I go very quickly over to pricing, it's quite affordable. You can start for free uh, and you get to, get to have a look around. Um, standard is 15, pro is 24, uh, and then there's business. You can contact them separately. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna log in to my Riverside account and I use uh, my Google login for most things now. So just click onto Google and then sign in using my Google account. Now, some of the things you're gonna see here, so this is my actual homepage. Um, some of the studios that I've actually recorded interviews uh, in the past and some that I've actually got coming up. All you need to do is click new studio to actually book something in. So let's go through it in slow time. So studio name, I'm just gonna go test studio on this one here. So recording type, they give you an audio and a video or audio only. So if you are just doing a podcast, you just wanted to focus on the audio, but I'm gonna be doing audio and video because my platform of choice is YouTube. And then the transcription language I'm just gonna have is English. So you can either head straight to the studio or you can continue to set up the studio. So I'm gonna to continue to set up. So here you go, you've got the, the studio name here and then you've got the audio and video and then the language. So then you can schedule this studio. So let's go ahead and schedule this for, um, let's go on the 11th of December and let's go um, say like two o'clock uh, in the afternoon. Uh, and let's choose a time zone. So, God, I'd love to be back in Hawaii time right now, but I am currently in London, so that's GMT zero, schedule. So that's gonna schedule the actual studio, and then invite participants. So this is where you, uh, you're either interviewing someone, you know their email, you just add this in here as a guest, and then you can invite them as a guest. You have got um, uh, other drop downs here, you can actually, uh, invite them as a host so you can actually host something with them you can invite them as a producer so they can actually manage the tech in the background but won't actually be recorded and you can invite them as a guest as well so they can come on um, and you're doing all the hitting and record everything they don't have any control there or they can have like a call-in audience so if you're going like a webinar style out to an audience you can use this function here so all I'm going to do now is hit create show let me, um, it, it's actually asking me for uh, an attendee, so I'm just gonna type in, um, I'm just gonna type in my um, my personal email here, so create show. So now this is just taking me to the studio dashboard. So this is saying you've got no recordings just yet. You can go into the studio, you can upload a recording if you wanted to do that, or you can just click invite or actually grab the link to share with people. You can also go into settings and there's some more stuff that you can go into here. Um, you can edit again the name, the security, making sure it's either private or public, um, making a, a live call with, with a video frame. Uh, I wouldn't worry too much about that. You can uh, schedule the studio out like we've done um, and those are the inviting um, parameters. But then here you can actually click about the, um, the actual quality that you want itself. Now, this is the optimized quality. So probably one of the best things about Riverside is it actually records locally to your computer and to the attendees computer so the interviewer and the interviewee so you don't need to worry too much about internet uh, connectivity stabilization it will record locally and then upload uh, in a full hd to the cloud so to this desktop so it will have the highest quality possible 
So all you need to do there is just make sure that um, the person that you're interviewing, make sure that they actually keep their window open for the duration of the call until it says 100% uploaded on their side. Um, and then same for you, keep your window open so it says 100% uploaded. Then you're gonna get the highest quality recording in the edit and anything that you render out. So these are all some of the other live stream options. You can live stream to YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Twitch or LinkedIn. Um, and then you can make any sort of custom logo design or any background or anything like that. Um, so I wouldn't write, worry too much about these settings, but these are some of the options that you have to play with. So what I'm gonna do now is click go into studio. So before Riverside lets you into the actual studio, it's gonna test a few things. If you haven't already given it access to your camera and your microphone, it's gonna ask you here. Um, it's just gonna ask you for a studio name and then it's gonna ask you, are you using headphones or are you not using headphones? I would recommend you to use headphones even though I'm not right now because I'm just doing a quick demo. But if you use headphones and if you get your guests to use headphones, it will actually reduce any sort of feedback that um, any of the microphones can pick up from your speakers. So here you can actually select, uh, I'm actually recording on my other camera here. So you can actually select which camera, you can either use your camera, your face HD camera. Um, I'd probably again use the highest quality camera as possible. So I'm using my Lumix and then I would probably use my Rode Podcaster. This is my Rode Podcaster, the, the, the best audio. And then if you were using headphones, you'd be selecting the headphones that you're actually gonna be using. And then once you're happy with the setup, you can then just click join studio. So once you're in the studio, it's gonna look something like this. If your guest actually gets the link, the share link, they can actually come into this studio. So you're gonna be side by side. And then all you can do is just hit record, you start recording and then you just have that interview. Some of the things down here, your mic, your camera, you can adjust all of these things with your speakers. You can actually add in scripts or any, share any screens that you need to. And then you can leave um, the recording once you're finished. But it's similar to any kind of sort of streaming platform or recording platform. You can have a look down and adjust any of these things, um, making sure that you're actually recording on the highest quality possible or the recommended quality that Riverside actually recommend. Once you have your interview, remember to click leave only once it is uploaded uh, 100%. And I'm gonna take you into uh, an actual recording that I've already done to show you how I edit out this video. So once your recording is fully uploaded to Riverside, it's gonna look something like this. So make sure you go into the actual studio that you've recorded it. And then you can actually see in your studio dashboard here. So this is an interview that I did um, a few weeks ago with Adrian Salisbury. And I'm just, you can either just click onto, onto this and then you can actually see if you've got any sort of rendered images or rendered uh, footage that's actually come out of this. And then you can go into the editor. Now, once you're in the editor, you can actually see uh, all of the script down the left-hand side. You can see the video on the right-hand side. It might take a, a bit of time to upload, but then you have the little, uh, you can scrub all the way through here um, and then actually get to any point in the video that you wanna try and edit out. You can actually just click export. You can export out the whole thing. So you can click export. Anytime you export, you've got the option here to actually export it in the highest like 4K quality um, or 1080p, it's up to you. Uh, I would probably render out as high as possible, uh, maybe the 4K, normalize audio levels. So if their mic is uh, a little bit louder than your mic, I would probably actually normalize them and then remove any background noise. I'll probably recommend normalizing that. So you can click export. If you just wanted to export out the whole video but there's a few cool things here that you can do um, you can scroll down to any of the uh, the copy here the um, transcript and then click on any of it and that will actually uh, cut straight to that actual piece in the video up here you've got this is what I love about it uh, you've got uh, the sizes you can render out an, a 16 by 9 or a 9 by 16 so if you are repurposing across socials like reels shorts anything like that uh, any stories, this is really good platform to actually use um, for, again, it says here, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Uh, there's a little magic uh, tool here. It just removes any dead spots or uh, any silences. I don't typically tend to use that too much. Uh, the tracks, you can either um, edit the tracks or you can edit like who's uh, actually gonna be on, on top or, or below. Uh, you can actually take out somebody so you can say right i just want uh, a 30 second clip of what adrian says here 
or you can actually put yourself in. The actual layout, you can actually have a border around it. You can actually use AI to actually frame who's actually speaking, uh, but I quite like that one. Backgrounds, you can have all sorts of different backgrounds in there. I don't really worry too much about that. But I like to put some closed captions on there and I probably like this one. And again, you can edit this to your heart's content. I don't usually tend to edit much of this, but I just put that in there. Um, and then, yeah, all I do here is I select a, uh, a passage of conversation that um, sounds interesting to me or I, I want to actually showcase across social to actually uh, have a bit of an enticing conversation or a, a hook to actually bring people back to uh, my YouTube channel. So I'll, I will host the the full, si the full size video, like the, the 16 by nine, I'll host that entire call on my YouTube channel. And then what I would do is I would break it up into a series of different shorts um, or reels and then just direct them back to my YouTube channel. And again, as I export, you can export out all of the shorts in the same uh, high quality format that you do for your long form video. So hopefully that's helped. If you were looking at riverside.fm as some of your platforms of choice when it comes to recording and editing like podcast or interview style content. Um, I have got a link below if you wanted to get um, a better deal than you can. I've got a link and it just takes you through to how you actually put in the code and actually get a, a better deal than, than the public. It is an affiliate link. It just means if you become a paying member, part of your payment comes back to me at no extra cost to you. And I do scrutinize all of the softwares that I use. So I have actually waited a good few months to actually showcase this software that I've been using, but I've been loving it, uh, what it produces, how easy it is to use, and the quality mainly uh, over, over above all it is, is so up there in terms of audio and video quality. So this is just one of the tools I use. If you wanted to actually see uh, a list, a checklist of all the other tools that I use to run this entire online business, head to timpinkman.com forward slash tools, where you can download a PDF today and I just showcase all of the checklists that I have just to see which ones could be right for you if you're thinking of building an online business or if you just have started building out your online business. So until next time, I look forward to seeing you on another video real soon.